Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Lego Connections. Today we have another episode of Building Scare for you. We are getting really close to the finale now and we've got an awesome episode for you today. I have made a ton of progress on the mock and I'm super excited to show you guys what we've got so far. Um, we're getting really close to the finale here. We've got so much done already and I'm so excited to show you guys what we've got. We've got some bushes in, a bunch of water working done, new minifigures set up, all kinds of fun stuff. So without further ado, I think we should just dive in and show you what we've done. Alright guys, before we get started, I wanted to show some things that I purchased. Some of it is for the mock, some of it I don't know if we'll actually use it in the mock, but we'll try to. Um, so I did purchase a used Krennic shuttle, um, so I got the whole shuttle and everything. Um, it did have a few missing minifigures, but what I really got it for was this Krennic minifigure here. So I need Krennic for Scarif here, um, and so I got the used shuttle so I could have Krennic there on the scene, and it was... Uh, cheaper just to get the, him with the shuttle like more cost-effective to get him with the shuttle So I got the shuttle as well, which I'm super excited for because I never got the shuttle originally So I'm excited to actually have the shuttle it also came with Bodhi Rook So I already have one, but it'll be nice to have a second one just in case um, It didn't come with a K2SO, so I still need to get one of those minifigures But I did get the Krennic which is super exciting. We also got some uh, Brick Arms blasters here um, some of the Star Wars blasters. So here's what the blasters are here um, it's just a bunch of Star Wars blasters that we can use. Use some of them in the mock, I guess, for some of the stormtroopers and some of the characters there. So I'm super excited about that. Just wanted to show you what we got there before we dive into the rest of the mock. All right, so here is a bird's eye view of Scarif so far. Um, as you can see, a lot of progress has been made uh, from the last episode. A lot has been done. I've been working really hard on it to get a bunch of this work done so that we can actually get the finale coming up here soon. Um, the reason I'm not quite finished yet. I do have some parts on order, so a lot of these guys are on order. These white studs are the one by two tiles here, the white studs. Uh, parts for the trees are on order as well. Um, and as you saw, I just got the Krennic minifigure over here as well, so that is also one of the things I was buying, waiting for the next episode to show you guys. But here we have what it looks like right now. As you can see, all of the water area is covered in white here. I've marked out where all the waves are gonna be. The waves are gonna look something like this. Um, just a, a one by two plate with a one by two tile on top of it um, to make it look like the little waves there. And then it's all covered in white because when it's when the tiles are on top, it looks really nice there. Um, it looks like the water from Scarif basically. So that's why I'm putting the white down instead. I have more white over there for more waves. Then as you can see also, I've done some repairs as well. Um, if you watched the Lego room tour, you saw that Scarif was a little bit of a mess. I did do a bunch of repairs on it, as well as um, get these bushes in here. So if we look down here, I can show you the bushes. So down here we have what I like to call like the, the, the foliage of Scarif, um, which is super cool. I really like how it turned out. I used a bunch of these leaf pieces here and these little leaves as well to make it kind of look more accurate and like a big uh, dense bush and I think it turned out really well. As you can see the U-wing is here on the mock. That's where it's going to be placed when we've got everything going on. And then over here I have some more bushes and stuff going to be surrounded by a couple trees up here. There's going to be a few trees in this area. One over here and then some more over in this foliage area as well. Um, I ordered some more of this piece here um, in a lighter tan color. That way I can make those trees and get the trees all done. Um, and those will be coming in soon, so those will be ready for the next episode. And we'll be able to get all the trees done, all the water done. Everything will be pretty much ready to go. And we'll just get to set up the minifigures. Last but definitely not least, I wanted to have some fun with the minifigures. And so I placed a bunch of minifigures all over the mock here to kind of just mess around and have some fun with the figures. And I loved how it turned out. Like, I've got the ghost crew over here um, with Chopper trying to get into the door. Over here we've got Darth Vader running with a tr uh, squadron of troopers and an officer. We've got all these rebels fighting off these stormtroopers here. Who there's a, Rebels are outnumbered a little bit there. And more stormtroopers coming from over here. I have Bishin down here in a fist fight with another stormtrooper. This is one of my favorite parts here. There's a little explosion with the guy flying back. Over here I did a little easter egg to the original script for Rogue One where they were running across the uh, beach with the data tape and everything. So we've got Jin running with the data tape there with Cassian and a couple other rebels there. 
And so, yeah, and then cheer it back here as well, uh, fighting the Death Troopers. So I had some fun with the minifigures just messing around, and I really like how it's turning out so far. I'm super excited to do it with the official mock when it's all done and everything. Here is one more look from, at Scarif from up above. We've got a really cool thing going so far, I think. I love the green that's adding a really bright color to the mock that I think it needed. And I think the trees all around are going to add a lot to that as well. Um, I have decided I'm probably not going to put the orange cart at the back here. I think that it's a little too small back here to get what I really wanted to build and it'd be a little too clunky in the back. And I think this looks okay just like this. Um, with the bunker just sitting there. I think this will look better this way. And I think it would look a little too clunky if I had the orange cart in the back as well. Um, but other than that, we're right on track to get this finale coming out in a couple episodes here. I do have those parts on the way, so we'll get parts for the water here, for the trees, for all the water crashing against the shore as well. And we'll get all of that very soon. And the, we're nearing the finale here, guys. So I'm super excited with how this is looking. Um, We'll get that finale out for you soon, maybe one or two episodes until we get to the finale there. But yeah, with that, we're going to round out the video. All right, guys, so what did you think of the mock so far? Um, I'm really excited with all the progress that I've made so far. We've got bushes in, some tree stuff laid out. We have a bunch of the water stuff done, all of it laid out in white, ready for those pieces to come in. I do have all those pieces coming in ready to go. Um, and we'll be able to build up the trees and the water soon, and we'll get all of that finished here really soon, actually. Um, which means we're getting really close to the finale. Um, I'm super excited for the finale coming up soon. I'm not sure how many episodes out, maybe one or two episodes out, and we'll get to the finale here. But so far, I am so excited with how the mock is turning out. I love with how with how it looks, and I love like putting the minifigures on it and everything. I think it's just so much fun. I'm super excited with how it looks right now, and I can't wait to see it finished here very, very soon. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more episodes of Building Scarif in the future. Without further ado, we're going to end out the video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Lego Connections.